Well, we'll turn now to some health news, and today we have registered dietitian Samantha Heller joining us. She's going to talk about your diet and the health of your bones, and it's good to have you back. Thank you. It's always great to be here. So let's talk about this. Osteoporosis is always in the news, and, it, and it's why people really have to be careful about what they're eating. Well, it's osteoporosis is a lightening of your bones, and what that does is it increases bone fracture, and then you can have osteopenia, which is your bones are lightening, the bone density is lessening, and that happens just before we get osteoporosis. One of the things people don't realize is men are just as much at risk huh. for osteoporosis after about age 60 we start losing and they start losing bone mass at about the same rate so men need to be very thoughtful about their bone health as well and to do that we have to watch what we eat all right so let's talk about it you have a number of things that we can be doing to help ourselves here so vitamin K you say is essential well vitamin K is something we think of with blood clotting we mm -hmm. don't think of it with bones but it's very impo important for bone mineralization so bones they break down a little then they remodel and they grow and they break down and they grow so vitamin K helps the bones lay down new bone tissue and grow so it's found in kale and collard greens and Brussels sprouts and broccoli and romaine lettuce all those great leafy greens that have a whole lot of other health benefits as well the reason why we have to eat our greens That's all right. right the vitamin A vitamin A and beta carotene which is a pre vitamin A and we think of carrots and sweet potatoes which are great sources and that it's good for our eyes and it is but it's also important for bone health and most people don't realize that vitamin A helps participate in the part of the dismantling of the bones so we can lay down new bone and maintain that bone density as we get older so, the, so, as I said, the carrots and the sweet potatoes and the mangoes and the tomatoes, the vitamin A, the beta carotene, great for bones and skin, too. All right. And we all know vitamin D. Like, you think bone health, you think vitamin D. But, uh... Well, most of us are low in vitamin D, yeah. to tell you the truth. Especially and, in the winter, right? The, well, in the winter, the sun is not strong enough to yeah. generate vitamin D. Uh, activation in the skin which between October and March it's just and it's too cold to be out and then we wear sunscreen so most of us probably need a supplement all right very good let's go to phosphorus well phosphorus I mean who thinks about phosphorus I know I don't, <laughs> and we don't what is phosphorus? unless you're here unless thank you and it's we find that in dairy foods and we find it in nuts and seeds like almonds and sunflower mm -hmm. seeds also tofu that's an important mineral that helps mineralize our bones along with calcium and, and creates the structure of our bones you know our bones are important for mobility for structure in our bodies the bone marrow makes blood cells that turn into red and white blood cells so bones are really important they're living breathing tissue that need the foods that we eat to keep them healthy all right potassium is another one potassium studies show that people who eat potassium have greater bone density and that's partly because potassium is found in so many fruits and vegetables and those have a lot of the vitamins that we're just talking about as well as antioxidants that help contribute to lower rates of inflammation and healthier bones and body all right and calcium I guess goes with vitamin D right well calcium is a separate mineral okay and and you have to have vitamin D to be able to absorb calcium and phosphorus so we think of calcium in dairy foods but it's also in things like bok choy and broccoli and other leafy green vegetables you can get it from diet calcium fortified milk soy milk uh, even almonds have some calcium so the diet that's very more plant more plant-based and a great variety of foods is going to give your body and your bones what you need yeah and it's interesting because you always hear eat healthy and these are the reasons why because everything you're saying to eat are things you should be eating anyway. That's right. Yeah, it's very interesting. So talk about a little bit about the exercise component of this too, because they say as people become inactive, that's when your risk goes up as well. Well, one of the things that stimulates that bone remodeling is exercise, and it's the way gravity affects our bodies when we're walking down the street and we're moving. So walking and the elliptical and jogging, great for bone health. Also strength training helps keep your muscles strong, protects those joints uh, and all of your bones, so you're at less risk for a fall and you're stronger and your balance is better. So exercise is a win-win for everything in your body. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I mean, you're saying 60 is the target age, but this is something you have to think about. Oh, Much yeah, your bone is like a bank account. So when you're in your teens and your 20s and you're laying down that bone tissue and making that, those nice, healthy bones, you have to start having all of those vitamins and minerals and those compounds that we're talking about today so you have nice, healthy bones as you get older so you can maintain that bone density as you get older because getting a fracture when you're older is not fun mm -hmm. and it can really increase the risk of other problems down the road. All right, good yeah. information as always, Samantha. Thank you. Thanks so much. I appreciate Pleasure. it.